Earlier today, we heard from the man leading the effort for the DOD in Liberia, Major General Darrell Williams. He talked about protecting U.S. military involved in building facilities to treat victims and conditions there on the ground. We also heard from USAID's Disaster Assistance Response Team Deputy Director Ben Hemingway, who talked about what progress is being made in partnership with DOD. General Williams starts out saying he trusts the CDC protocol will keep American personnel safe. We measure while we're here twice a day our monitoring as required by uh, the recent guidance that was put out uh, while we're here in Liberia. I, yesterday I had my temperature taken I think eight times. As long as you exercise uh, basic sanitation and uh, cleanliness sort of protocols, using the chlorine wash on your hands and your feet, getting your temperature taken, uh, limiting the exposure, uh, the, the uh, no handshaking, uh, those sorts of protocols, I think the risk is relatively low. If, God forbid, uh, one of these soldiers, sailors, or airmen, or marine contracted this disease, as I mentioned, they would be stabilized, they would be quarantined, we would go through the appropriate protocols, people would be attending to them in the appropriate PPE as of the date, no one, no one has shown those symptoms, and I'm very optimistic about our ability as a team to get after this fight. Putting together up to 17 Ebola treatment units, 65 community care centers, uh, two laboratories are already in place, four more on the way, uh, providing training for both local and international staff that will man these Ebola treatment centers. So we have been asked by AID to help train uh, the local, the healthcare workers here, up to 500 a week. Uh, the U.S. Public Health Services are actually um, providing support to healthcare workers who, if they unfortunately are stricken with the uh, disease. And so, my biggest challenge right now is working through the environment. I wouldn't say we underestimated, but I, I think we didn't realize how wet it would be here. General Williams says U.S. military personnel are not tasked with direct care of Ebola patients.